Today, Noah gets his CT scan. This is Biff with the blog. Hello everyone, welcome back to Biff the blog. It's uh, Wednesday today and uh, today we're plowing on as normal. Um, we're hopefully going to get some news in regards to Noah's uh, fluids and I think he's also booked in for a CT scan later today, assuming that all goes ahead um, in the afternoon, early afternoon. In terms of us, well, or me and Heidi, well, again, I'm at work. Um, Heidi is actually going out to Auntie George's again today, which is great. Um, and I'm sure she'll have a great time. <laughs> she never wants to leave. Uh, so I'm just going to go wake up Heidi now. And uh, it's still quite early, but she needs to get ready. <laughs> um, but I have something special for her time around the cave in the post yesterday. We've been waiting for it for absolutely ages. Mystery package. What's it going to be? Oh! <laughs> That's exactly what it is. <gasps> Should go out and have a look. Wow. Physios came round really pleased with how loose his feet are with the telepes and um, his legs are just generally a better colour. There seems to be more circulation and he's moving them more when you're doing his exercises and massages plus spontaneously as well, which is really good. The consultant came round and said that the neurosurgeons want to do a CT scan today at 2 o'clock to decide whether no one needs a shunt or an access device fitted to help drain the fluid in his brain. Um, bit of a bummer, because he had been doing so well with it, but I'm just glad that... Um, they're going to do it now and it means that we haven't gone home and have had to come back for it. This afternoon Noah had his CT scan at the children's hospital, so that meant another ride in an ambulance. Um, when we got there it was really surreal seeing such a small baby on like this plate that literally moved out from the bed and went under this big scanner. Um, he was all strapped on and snuggled up and on his back and I obviously haven't seen him on his back. He looked really sweet, bless him. But I was a bit like, oh, I hope he doesn't like roll off because the plate wasn't very wide. Um, we haven't had the results of that yet because the neurosurgeon's really busy, but hopefully they'll get to have a look at that tomorrow. And then we'll get an idea of when surgery's likely to be. <laughs> so it's night time already. Um, Heidi's in bed now. Um, I haven't managed to blog much today because work has been mad and <laughs> to be honest, there's not much to blog about at work. Um, obviously, Louise has told me about uh, the fluids and the fact that they are concerned about it. And that he's gone for a CT scan. Um, so hopefully the results of that will be okay. I mean, I think it's fairly odds on that something, some sort of surgery will happen now. Um, but we'll just see when that happens. Hopefully it won't happen on a day. Well, we want it to be soon, obviously. But um, clearly we're not planning to go up there until Friday evening. So if it happens tomorrow or on Friday, then we might have to decide if we want to go up any sooner than the Friday night like normal. I just got back from seeing Noah. I've had lots of lovely cuddles tonight. Um, and he's been moving his legs lots and lots and lots more than what he was and spontaneously as well as just when you rub him or do his exercises. So it's really made me happy that, you know, when you're doing his nappy and whatnot, he's flexing his legs up a bit more, which is really positive news. The neuro nurse came and changed Noah's dressing on his back. Um, generally looking like it's healing. Still a bit oozy, but on the mend. Other than that, not much else to say. 
So I'll say goodnight because I'm tired. It's almost midnight and I've still got to express before I go to sleep. So see you tomorrow. Bye.